yesterday's speech was electrifying. It lit up the hall. It was certainly the highlight of the entire conference. I believe it gave the Saudis a great deal of confidence hearing what the Crown Prince had to say, and we hope that he will get to the bottom of it as quickly as possible. Having said that, I think a lot of U.S. companies are still on pause. They're in a wait-and-see mode. They'll like to find out what the next steps are, and then I think they'll evaluate their position towards Saudi Arabia. So there are some U.S. companies who are not here at the conference. Uh, I've always believed that it's more important to have a seat at the table. As my president, Donald Trump, would say, if you're not at the table, you can't be part of the deal. So I regret that some of those companies didn't make it, but I certainly understand why. They have stakeholders, they have institutional shareholders to which they're held accountable. So we'll have to wait and see whether their position in the aftermath of yesterday's speech changes. I think the reaction of the international investment community in recent weeks has shocked Saudi Arabia. In a sense, it's a wake-up call. However, I'd like to say for us as a chamber, this is all about partnerships. It's a long-term relationship. We have a 50-year partnership. Saudi Arabia is a linchpin in the region. 70% of the U.S. exports coming to the region, directly or indirectly, are coming to Saudi Arabia. So this is a long-term partnership, and we're not going anywhere.